Hi guys, in this following video I'm going to go through an example for calculating the failure load for uh, some several uh, bolts that are attached to a plate. So the question that I'll go through reads as follows. Um, a steel plate which is fastened by a group of bolts is subjected to a 30 kN as shown below. All uh, dimensions are in millimeters and we're asked to calculate the centroid of the bolt group to identify the bolt with the maximum load acting on it to determine the maximum load acting on the bolt and then to calculate the size of the bolts required if the allowable shear stress in a bolt is 190 megapascals. So for this example what we'll need to do is to uh, firstly determine the centroid of the the group of bolts here and so um, I guess logically we should expect it somewhere around here but I'll go through some theory to calculate that for us. Um, first thing is to calculate or to, to show a, a reference a position so I'm going to use this as a datum for our, our reference going down in the y uh, direction and we're going to use this direction here as a reference to use for our x um, direction and we're going to find a x and a y coordinate uh, for this. Uh, the formula that we'll use um, is as follows. So that's um, y bar is equal to um, each of the y coordinates for each of these bolts. So y1 plus y2 plus y3 and plus y4 and y5 and then all of this divided by how many bolts we've got. So uh, where n is the number of bolts. So in this case, um, we can uh, name this one bolt number one, number two, number three, four, and five. And uh, so we get uh, zero is the y coordinate for this. Um, the y coordinate for this one is zero. Uh, the y coordinate for this one is zero, so we can um, measure it from the y direction. Uh, the y coordinate for this one here is 75, and the y coordinate for this one here is 75. And so uh, we get uh, zero plus zero plus zero plus 75 and plus 75 all of that divided by how many bolts we've got, which is uh, 5. And then we can uh, calculate what that's equal to. So um, we get 75 plus 75 divided by 5. And our y coordinate is equal to 30. So uh, for finding the x coordinate, you could look at this and just see that it's in, it's symmetrical. So then it's going to be uh, somewhere along uh, this line of axes um, here. Uh, but let's go through the similar calculation for finding the x coordinate. All right. So uh, x bar is equal to uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x. 4 plus x5, all divided by the number of values that we've got. And for each one of these, um, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 50, x is going to be equal for, to 100 for this one, x will be uh, 50 plus 100, so x is 150 for this one, and for this one is equal to uh, 200, so let's add them all together. So 0 plus 100 for x2, plus 200 for x3, plus 50 for x4, and plus 150 for x5 uh, for that one there. Alright, and then that all divided by 5. And then now we just go... Uh, the best place to put this. All right, so our zero plus one hundred plus two hundred plus fifty plus one fifty, all divided by five, and I get one hundred. 
Okay, and so now we have the centroid of the bolt group. Um, it will be um, 30 millimeters in the Y direction. And 100 millimeters in the X direction, like we have here. Okay, so 100. So there is our centroid. All right, so in the next video, we'll go through the next stage, which is um, to next uh, identify the bolt with the maximum load acting on it, and then to determine the maximum load acting on that bolt. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.